Hello again, and welcome to Privars Fiskeflur. Today we're going to tie a little pheasant tail. The pheasant tail is also a mayfly nymph. I'm going to show you a very simple way how to tie this. Okay? Follow on with the video. Now I'm going to tell you a little about the materials I used in this fly. The main material in this fly is gold pheasant. You can also use regular pheasant. That's not so important. That's what I found. Okay? And uh, we have uh, this hook, Dry Fly Supreme, size 14, from Partridge. And we have uh, a kind of brownish dubbing of uh, free of choice, but to have to match the colors of the flies you're gonna tie. And I use some uh, dark brown tying thread. Uh, it's not a particular known brand. I got it from Vineyards, by the way. And uh, I have, uh, yes, that's the materials I used in the fly. Gold pheasant, dubbing, and tying thread. And of course, I, uh, the tools I used in this uh, fly is, uh, this is the peak wise. I have a whip finisher for stone foe. And a sharp scissors from Kia. Kai, Kai, sorry, Kai. Small scissors, sharp as hell. And uh, some uh, water-based lacquer that I used to seal the whip finish knot with. That's all the materials I had, so uh, follow on with the video. I started with putting the size 14 hook in the vise. The vise is a peak vise. I can surely say that this vice is a very good vice this has a reasonable price it's very good okay i start with taking some fibers off a gold pheasant tail and measure out a couple of those measure out the length go down down to the hook bend, go forwards again, all the way this, so we can make a little foundation, like that. Now you take your, go down with your tread, like that, take your dubbing, it's a brownish dubbing, uh, I think it's fly right, I'm not quite sure, but uh, that's not so important. Take it all the way, also could be bullfrog dubbing from Fly Touch Dungeon. That's the more sensible answer I have for you. Okay, now you take your dubbing and wind it upwards the hook. Up. And when you reach your destination, just tie off this little bunch. Take your snip, snip it off. And um, like this. You can snip off this waist, of course. Now I make a little half hitch in front here. And now you take your tread back, down and under, under the tail. And now you can use your tying tread as a rib. Forwards again, tie down the stumps, find another piece of gold pheasant. And snip off some fibers. And you can take your fibers, snip it off, not snip it off, make it point forward like this, and go down, 
and some more dubbing where did I put it I put it there like that attach it to your tread attach it to your tread and make a little thorax on this like that snip it off soon you can snip it off could take it back I'll do that I'll go back to my tying thread make a little hump now and now you can snip it off back there be sure to use your trying thread and go forwards again now you check your tying thread and use your if you have a little space too little space you can just push the whole damn thing backwards like that you take your fibers divide them on each side as best as you can do take your whip finish now I use uh, regular whip finish this one is from Stonefall quality tool like that and snip it off with your sharp scissors and put the thread aside and take your where did I put my lacquer bottle? Oh yes, it's all up here. Yeah, now I hope not. It's not clogged up. It's not. Then you take your lacquer and try not to clog the eye. I do as I best I can to do that. It seems, but. I think that's very nice and put the cap back on so we don't get problems later you see now there is some fiber sticking up you can use your scissors to just get rid of the stray ones you see have one here and a little one there okay if you're a tidy guy you can also count the fibers on each side but uh, well the fish don't count do they now we got a very nice mayfly with some rib and you have a thorax we have a gold pheasant very nice fly very nice fly to have in your box so, uh, well, that's all I had for you folks. And uh, thank you all for watching my video. And welcome be back to next. And please subscribe. And I will always get out some new videos. Okay? Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.